Hi, welcome back to my channel. For today's lesson, I'm going to show you how I use the software called Virtual DJ 2021 to learn difficult songs here, okay? So before anything else, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel, okay? So if you want to download this software, it's an open source. That is a free software. You can just search for Virtual DJ 2021 on either Opera Mini, Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox, or any browser that you have, okay? Better still, I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can just tap on it to get the software, okay? So when you're done with the download, let me show you the best settings or the best layout that you can ever use to um, learn a song. Now let's come to the layout panel. Um, change from starter to essentials, okay? Good. Now we have this layout right here. So let's start on how to load a song into this deck. We have desk. A and desk B, okay? You can load a song into um, both of this um, desk, okay? So to load songs into this deck, you can just go to your file browser, drag and drop a song onto any of this deck um, to be able to play a song in here, okay? So let me search for any song here, okay? Um, let me load your support. You can country a jar to this desk A, okay? You can choose to load onto the desk B. It's all good, okay? So when you have your song in this deck, the software is very powerful that it can detect the tempo of a song, also detect the key of that song, okay? So this song has its key to be, the software said it's on A sharp, okay? So let's check whether um, it's true or not, okay? So I have my MIDI clause right here. Let me search for the key. Mm -hmm. good you can see that we have our key on b flat the same as a sharp okay that means the software um doesn't lie okay that's um the power of virtual dj and for the tempo to is correct that's 83.03 bpm okay now let me show you some quick settings um here if you want to get the stems of this song, when I talk about stems, I mean um, the voice, the drums, the bass, the instruments. Like, you want to get all of them different, like, in different sections. I will show you a quick way to do that, okay? So, that's, you can only do that in Virtual DJ 2021. Those of us using the old version, you need to upgrade to this version, okay? So, you see this audio panel right here. You can see that. Check, you can see a drop down arrow here, okay? That's the EQ mode, okay? Click on here. Now select easy remix, okay? That's simple and playful for cool remixes, okay? Just select that one, easy remix, and click on OK, okay? With that, we can, we, we, we can play different sections um, of these stems of the song, okay? Good, that's how to get the stems of the song, okay? So let me play it for you to see. So if, when I turn when I turn down the instrument, it will mute all the instruments in this song. Okay, when I turn down the beat, it will mute only the drums, the percussions, and those stuffs in it. Okay, and when I turn down the vocal, it will mute um the voice in it. So you just listen. Okay, I've turned down the voice. Okay, if you want to turn down um, the instruments in it, just click on the instrument. Let me turn down the beat, okay? So it has mute the drums in it, okay? That's the power of virtual DJ, okay? So, also, you can change the key of this song, okay? If you want to change the key of this song, it's very simple. You can just click on this drop-down arrow right here. You can transpose to any... Let's transpose to about two semitones, okay? Now, listen. Now, we have changed to Jane, okay? So, you can change to... Let's bring it back to the neutral point, okay? So you can change um, the key of this song in Virtual DJ. It's very simple, okay? And also you can change the pitch, okay? 
you can change the speed of the song so listen so this slider right here okay that's that function you can just um turn it up or down to change the speed okay so listen listen okay so you want to get it back to the neutral point just click on this right arrow here okay click on it to get back to the neutral um point okay so listen so we have our song on the neutral point so that's um the power of virtual dj okay so now let's move on to the pass section okay now we have a hot cue stem slicer sampler okay so if you want to change those of you who don't have the hot cue here can just right click on it to select hot cue okay so i need my hot cue my stems my slicer okay that's i need only the two here the stems and the hot cue okay let me show how the hot cues work let's say you want the song to start playing from here okay as soon as you hit on this part okay so whenever you hit on this part there's an empty pass here okay so you are going to tell virtual dj that bro when when i hit on this part just start from this part okay so just use the amount to select the parts on which you want um it to start playing from okay so let's So there's a solo right here okay and we want we want that whenever we click on this part we want um it to start playing from this part okay so the best thing just select that part just drag to that part where you want and just right click on any of the empty parts here okay so this is the part one okay i'll just right click on it so whenever i click on this q1 it automatically recall um on that time where i set to okay so listen good now we can also add more timestamps okay if you want to also start from here you can add another queue okay you can create timestamps here okay it depends on what you want okay if you want to delete um the queue just right click on it okay so we have our q1 okay so the q just this q1 is leading us to the the solo part okay now let's move on to the stems okay we have our stems here the the stems give you um the ability to control the kick the hi-hat the instrument the bass and the voice okay i'm going to turn off the vocals okay so listen okay just like that i have my vocals off okay i can also turn off the instruments in it okay so listen i can also turn off the bass lines in it i'll have my bass i can just turn it off that's the bass guitar okay the loop section that's where you set um part of the song to uh i mean replay itself repeat itself for some times okay so now you have when you click this arrow down there you have one bar you have four bars eight bars 16 bars up to 64 bars okay so that's um the loop function so to use the loops it's very simple let me play the song so we can see how the loops works okay so let's use four bars so listen Ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun. so if i want to loop the part where the singer is coming in i must count one two three four to get to the point where i need to like loop it okay so listen so listen to this part two three four one 
two, three, four, one. Okay. Hey, right in swan. Okay. So I was just counting one, two, three, four. So on the first count, I just tap on the four here um, to loop that part. Okay. Listen. Okay, so in case I want to learn um, this part of the intro, it's very simple. Just um, select it and loop it. So listen. It seems it has more speed, okay? So I can just reduce the tempo um, to get something like this. Okay. Okay, so with that, you can learn every part of the song, okay? Okay, so that's how I use Virtual DJ to loop part of the song that um, seems more speedy, okay? You can just loop that part, play it over and over to get that part well, okay? You can just reduce the tempo. If you want to change the key of the song, you can do that. It seems more easy. So let me show you one more thing before I close, okay? So let's assume you have this song that you want to mute the instrument. That's the backing instrument um, in it. For you to learn the back end aspect okay so you maintain our baseline in it okay that's how you maintain the baseline we want to export it so how do we do that okay so just mute your instrument in it uh, you're going to learn the back end part so listen okay although we have our baseline playing just that the instrument has been mute okay so if you want to export the whole stuff right here Want to export this stuff? It's very simple. Come to settings, okay? You see this settings icon, they just click on it. Then you see record here, okay? You see record here. Now come to this part. You see, you see this three dots right here. Just click on it. Go to your file browser. You can select any place where you want to export it to, okay? So then you type your file name, okay? When you're done with that, you can select the format, okay? So you can choose to select WAV file, MP4. You select MP4 only when it's a video, okay? MP4, MP3, you have your WAV file. So let's select the MP3 because it's an audio file, okay? So you just um, click on this save button here. So to do the recording, you just select this start record here, okay? You just select start record, okay? So when you select start record, okay, you see stop record, okay? Now, as soon as you play the song right here, it's going to record everything um, that is playing in this virtual DJ, okay? So let's see. 
it won't start recording until i just play i just select on the play button okay so listen i'm going to record um this part without the instruments okay so listen so everything that is playing is being recorded here okay so you record to the part where you feel like it's enough for you okay so now you can just click on this top record button go to record file show in explorer okay you see your file right there okay so this sort i recorded so that's how i use virtual dj to export um different stems of a maze okay so it's very simple so let me leave you here take time like practice like you can search for more videos about virtual dj it sounds good okay so let me leave you for today thanks for um your time